What is up you guys, my name is RVZ and welcome to Student Union. Now this is a demo for a game that is set to release in April 2022, I think? It features dark drama and romance, and you know how much I like romance, right? Dark drama? Maybe not so much, but I still will try, you know? I always like to try all the anime-like games to see what kind of content is out there. I'll leave all the links to this game down below, including the Kickstarter campaign, which is about to end, I believe? So check it out. Anyway, let's uh, start a new game. Yes, start new game. Always like to start me a new game. Oh, look at that. School. Blood, dirt and sweat caught my arms to the elbows. And I can no longer tell where any of it came from. What the fuck are you doing in the school like that? If I keep going with this, I'll eventually be caught. Oh yeah? What the hell am I going to do? Oh. What? Any? Turner? A teacher rushes into the office, pushing the door with more force than necessary. I flinch in my seat and see Patra upright, yes. Oh. After taking a step in, she stops. She finds me in the chair across from the empty desk. Oh, hey. You're in my class this year, aren't you? Uh, hey, Miss Weeb. Weeb. Oh, you're a wee, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, this year is the first. She eyes me with suspicion. What are you doing in here? I was called in from the intercom earlier, so I'm not sure yet. Okay, please keep waiting. She holds back annoyance, though not very well. As she exits, she closes the door more softly than she opened it. I look at the space around me. This is the first time I've been here. The administration offices are sectioned off from the classrooms. And this one dwarfs the others. An attended coffee, or maybe it's tea, sits on the desk, steam coming from the cup warps, and the sunlight entering from the window. I take a breath while combing the office with my eyes. Actually, by the smell, it's definitely coffee. On the wall, there's a framed certificate titled Masters of Business Administration. It was issued from a prestigious uh, university about six years ago. Near the degree are a set of frames arrayed with pinned butterflies. A wireframe model of a dodecahedron rests on the desk. Interrupting my fidgeting, and this time without a knock, a well-dressed man enters and greets me with a smile. Hello. Hi there, Elaine. Thanks for being patient. I am the assistant's principal, Mr. Underwood. I must not be in trouble, so I extend my hand. The smile curves stronger at the gesture and shakes my hand firmly. His grip is stronger than mine. He closes the door behind him, walks to his desk and seats himself. Go ahead, sit. I heard that you were asking around about odd jobs you could do for the school. I return to the same chair across from his desk that I've been warming and lean forward. Yes, sir. I was wondering if I could make extra money during this school year. I was thinking of saving up for college. Admirable. You are in your senior year, right? Why not get a summer job? I worked at the library downtown. Over the break, I was trying to figure out something more local. The bus schedule makes it tricky. The Kafka Library. Yes, a bit of a commute, nearly an hour each way. He drinks from his coffee and looks past me for a moment. Well, I do have something. I have been introducing the idea to a few of the other seniors. What is your background? I straighten up in my seat a bit. I've had this interview like exchange a few times. I'm from here, so I grew up with a lot of students. Not that I know them all well, but I'm not shy. My grades are important to me, I'm a hard worker, and I've had lots of jobs. Probably more than any other students. Mr. Underwood seems receptive and maintains eye contact with me. I notice he's thumbing the side of his cup. His fingernail color is white from the pressure. Where else? I worked at the passing gas. Gas station. 
Yeah, I worked afternoon shifts on weekends for a while. I stock shelves at the grocery too. Also, they sometimes need help at the water treatment plant and hire interns. So I've done work there on and off. You stay busy. All your work will pay off and you should feel proud. I grit my teeth and hold back any response. After a couple of seconds pass, I nod slightly. Mr. Underwood puts a small uh, stack of papers on his desk. You have excellent grades too. You are a strong candidate. However, something I cannot glean from your file is whether or not you are able to work with little instruction. What I need is a student to take the project and run with it, reporting in weekly. He pauses, waiting for a response. I'm nervous, not from the content of the conversation, from something else. My face may betray me, but I attempt a confident nod. I'd be happy to try. What do you need? I need someone with an entrepreneurial spirit to take the lean on forming a student union. It is in the experimental phase, and uh, I am trying to convince the board it is valuable to both the students involved and the administration. Despite an upfront cost, as a president you would put in a minimum amount of 10 hours in a week, report to me directly, and you would have a small budget. 10 hours would not be a problem? Do you mean a group to represent all the students? As you might know, our school receives federal funding. Our facilities is part of the public education system, so our government is mandated to allocate money to us, help us maintain resources for our students. The amount we receive may fluctuate when officials change offices, policies, legislation, or the state takes in more or less than anticipated. Our school system tends to be placed below other priorities. What sort of initiatives, I guess, are more important than school? It depends on whom you ask. Insurance programs, infrastructure, subsidizing local businesses, law enforcement, and assistance to struggling families. At mention of his last example, I catch myself looking at the worn tip of my sneaker and redirect my gaze to Mr. Underwood. Mr. Underwood smiles. You are not going to find many here who disagree that education is important. Many moving pieces play a role in the decision making, but I did not call you in here to talk about that. Our administration receives a cut of the budget and we then craft our school budget from it. Year over year, the student population has been increasing while our funding has been decreasing. Is that why there's no sign up for a track this year? That came out more accusatory than I intended. We are taking a hard look at all our extracurricular programs. Student representation is not the goal, service to the school is. We need additional manpower, and this is a relatively cheap method, and it presents you with an opportunity to help the school. If you do well and recruit some of your hard-working friends, you will make a positive impact. I cannot make promises beyond guaranteeing your paycheck. I take a deep breath collecting confidence to put forth my most important question. How much will I be paid? Minimum wage, the same amount you receive from the library? He responded without hesitation. He was prepared. It's disappointing, but not more than I can realistically expect. Mr. Underwood downs the rest of his drinks and glances at the clock on the wall. Are you interested? I hesitate for a moment. I need this. I'm out of other options. Maybe I can reconnect with some old friends. I equip confidence and address Mr. Underwood. Definitely. It seems complicated. They can help with whatever you need. Are you sure? This is not a small project. For me either. He glances at the wall behind me again. Yes, sir. What sort of work will I be doing? Underwood smiles. There you go. First, I believe that you can support some of our administrative functions. We need someone to man the library here too, for example. 
we may utilize your team for event planning services. We have access to faculty rooms and spacious conference areas. I want to rent those for external events to earn revenue. Oh, like hosting workshops or conferences? I helped the Dial Library with scheduling seminars. Yes, I need to develop a formal list of your responsibilities and the responsibilities of the Union as a whole. Achieve board approval and get some paperwork to you. What you need to do in the meantime is vital. Please recruit at least 4 students by the end of the week. That will demonstrate the board that we actually have interested and ambitious students to fuel the program. It will not work if you are the only participant. Oh. Like a bucket of water thrown on a freshly lit match? Mr. Underwood senses my mood swing. You can ask some of your... He seems to catch himself and continues after an awkward lapse. Your classmates for help. It will actually be a great exercise for you in preparing for your role as a delegator. We have intelligent and creative students here, and I am sure you will find a handful willing to support their school. Yeah, I can do that by Friday, then? Yes, all of you meet me here and I'll give everyone an update and initial push. Do you... Oh, the bell rings. Mr. Underwood gestures to the door. You better head to the next period. I would hate to consume more of your time than I should. If you have questions, feel free to reach out by phone or email. Fluently, Mr. Underwood places his business card in my hand as I stand. It's a neat design. The card lists his office phone number, cell phone number and email address. Is it strange to give your cell phone number to a student? He seems devoted. I nod and reluctantly smile. Thanks a lot, Mr. Underwood. Thank you. He waves as I open the door and move back into the hall. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Collecting my belongings from the last period was easy, since I hadn't brought any. Some students' books are still on order and they haven't arrived. Most uh, inherited old books. I linger at my opened locker in the hallway, Mr. Underwood's card in one hand and my phone in the other. Turner Underwood, Assistant Principal. I add him to my contacts. What was I about to ask him? Can I get paid this week? Should I record my time worked in the Pacific? Can I do something? Fuck, I need money. Can I get paid this week? Hi, Mr. Underwood, it's Lane. Yes. Do you think I can pay, get paid this week? Yes, I will assign you retro pay for your effort. Oh, nice. I slip Mr. Underwood's business card in my warned wallet. With a metal clank, I close my empty locker. The sound echoes. The students who were shuffling around me have already entered their next classes. I haven't memorized my schedule yet, so I ease my crumpled note from my pocket. After a confirming glance, I crickle it back in place and walk. At least I know a couple of people I can ask for Mr. Underwood's project. During lunch, or this afternoon, may be a good time to ask around. In the meantime, I plan, uh, since we don't have many details worked out. Otherwise, I doubt I'll persuade anyone. Two students, myself included, would be guaranteed at least. I need three more. Students are standing in irregular circles outside my destination. Groups migrate past me while I approach two students in conversation. Why not? He is strict and he lives right next to me. Doesn't matter how hard the ass he is or where we hand off. Jeez, just help me out like before. I don't know. Evan spots me and with sidelong steps widens the circle of two. Why is everyone out here? Forget it, man. Either ignoring or reacting to my interruption, she moves against the flow of the other students. I notice the classroom they had been negotiating near is empty. I think arts cancel today. Why? I begin moving with the flow of the crowd and Evan follows beside me. It's... I don't know. She didn't come in. 
and Coach Jean just told us to head to the gym. Uh, what you mean, Miss Miss Weeb? Yeah, she uh, Ross said she was really upset this morning. His eyes look past me and catch a passing classroom door. Instinctively, I follow his darting glance and see nothing but a closed door. He continues doing uh, this with each room we pass, so I decide to ignore it. She looked it. She was trying to find the new assistant principal, but I don't know why. Hmm, it's weird. What is? I don't know. It's so different this year. Oh, did you? I stumble. Hard to end grip at the handrail, but the loose railings provides no support. I release it with a jerk and catch myself on the wall. Instead, palms open. Beyond the inner railing, a narrow gap separates the flights. The height from the second floor creates a more potent wake-up call than the smell of Mr. Underwood's coffee. Crap! That will really hurt someone before it's fixed. <laughs> I write myself, and we continue downstairs. Did you ask about the work-study position? Mr. Underwork said he'd like me to start a group, like a paid club that helps the school. See, that's weird too. You know about the layoffs, right? And with the less selective classes, Principal Decker must be desperate, that's all. Mr. Underwood mentioned the school's budget was cut, that's more weird, not less. How can they pay you? There's less stuff, but not less work. Uh, they have to pay someone to do it. And we're cheap. We? Yep. I face Evan outside the gym entrance. With Pep in my step, the burst of energy exhausts him. It's minimum wage. You'll need to put in around 5 hours a week. I've got the lower limited of 10 since I'm organizing it. Evan scowls at the floor. As I expected, I'm smiling. I don't know, I have a lot of questions. And you can't... We lock eyes. Can I at least think about it? I wanted to do drama club this year. Of course, take your time. And I'll text you the details tonight, conveniently after I figure them out. Uh, besides, there might not be a drama club unless someone helps out around here. Hmm. You said the group. How many people? Uh, three more to get us going. Want me to ask Holly? Uh, it's probably not her thing. Doesn't hurt to ask. Let's go in now. I think we're late. Oh, for what? Everyone is either sitting around or playing ball. Our heart class, our heart class, has around 20 members, and there must be as well over four classes in here. They might as well have cancelled school today. I almost don't hear heaven over the chatter. Ross might have had uh, the right idea this time. I borrow an abandoned basketball and join the idle shooting on the corner of the court. Evan follows along the sideline. So what were you two talking about? Nothing really. I mentioned that Mr. Underwood moved uh, into our apartment building. My shot bounces off uh, another student just above the rim. So I lift another ball, rolling near. How did you find out? He asked me to move a couple of boxes. He lives alone. I think... But he seems nice. Uh, sorry, I didn't text you back. On my next throw, the ball moves through the net with a swish. That's... it's fine. Got some good sunset shots out there. Did you talk to the librarian? They said they found someone. And a gas station? Nothing there, or the grocery. The timing's off, and they have enough hands. Hmm. You know, I can do your homework sometimes, or cover for you. My next row misses with a thud from the backboard. It's fine, I'm going to have this student group. If I do well, it's sure to be steady. Right. So what will you do? make Mr. Underwood's coffee. I make a mean matcha. I'm serious. So am I. My shot once again intercepts another student. Just above the rim, a tall girl approaches us with a relaxed greeting. Hi. She addressed heaven, but I responded anyway. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, what's up? 
it is better to take turns. I'm briefly confused and glass at heaven. The message click after he nods at the basketball goal. Oh, sorry. He nods uh, slowly and turns. Evan stops her by speaking up, which catches me more off guard than her. Annette, wait. This is late. He's a senior too, and um... At this point, I suspect a pattern. Did he become popular with girls? Matt is listening patiently as Evan trails off. The answer is no. Better help him. We're offering a few students a paid position at the school. I just started this group to help the school administration, since they're short-staffed. About uh, 5 hours a week or so? It's a club that looks very good on your resume when you graduate. You'd be um, organizing events and managing library or the computer lab. I have no interest. He walks away and catches the stray ball. She's attractive. I send a smile to Evan. Your pitch needs work. Worked on you, didn't it? Uh, aren't you worried? I'll manage. We've got until Friday to get more members. Thanks for the wingman, though. You've got it. How do you know her anyway? Uh, through Holly? She knows everyone. Pulling her in basically means we're set. Like I said... Let's say you're right. Who else? Since I no longer feel confident enough in my multitasking to avoid disturbing Nat, I lead us to the bleachers. What you said earlier... They need people to manage the library? I sit with my back to the wall. Why can't you just do that? You've got... Yeah, it makes sense, Mr. Underwood didn't make it sound uh, like a sole student was an option though, is that they don't want to go through the single setup for a single person. How much could it even be? Enough that it's not worth it without a substantial program? I don't like it, but you should ask Alice for help. I smile and take census of the students here. You're full of solutions today. Today, huh? I approach a brooding guy and interrupt his reclined position. Hey Kane? No, wait, don't. Evan flinches and reaches out. Kane sits up as I approach and greets me with a look of recognition. Sup? What's going on with Alice? Mm, what? Sudden glare, not the response I anticipated. Your girlfriend? Why isn't she with you? He steps level with me and glances at the coach, Jean. The coach is playing on his phone, on the court bench. Kane stands taller and is much more physically imposing compared to the other students. And to me. What the fuck are you trying to say, you little shit? Oh, oh, oh what the hell, what, what? Nothing, I just... Uh, you just what? Wanna be funny? Get a rise out of me? My collar tightens as he grips the chest of my shirt so forcefully. I wonder if it will tear. No, what do you... Proxies is for white flags. My hands raise defensively. Oh. He shoves me onto the stairs, the corner digging into my spine. Sharp pain. I wince and read. Play stupid fucking games, win stupid fucking prizes. He storms from the stands and into the halls. Evan helps me upright. You okay? Probably. They broke up uh, over the break. It's... It was really public. Really. I mean, even I knew. I noticed Nat looking at me from the court. Tourism's playing. Well... I'd say that hurt my pride more if my back didn't hurt so much. Jeez. She dumped him, apparently. And told everyone he was a womanizing pig. A failure. A poisonous fool. Specific? He posted it online. I've been too busy working to be plugged in. I know. It only seems to hurt worse when I massage the area, so I stopped attempting. I'll catch Alice over lunch. Think she'll join? I don't know, probably. Crazy asshole. I spent time recovering in Evan's company until our next class. As my sounding board, Evan helps think out uh, the more of the group's jobs. We at least become more familiar with the idea. 
Alright, before we head out to the cafeteria, I'm gonna leave this video here. So far this demo looks pretty polished, I quite like it. The story is quite interesting. I've never actually worked in a school. Probably very little people has worked for a school. I wonder what kind of work uh, Mr. Underwood is actually thinking of, but I guess we'll figure out on the next episode. Anyway, till then, I'm gonna leave this video here. Let me know what you guys think about this game in the comment section below. If you actually enjoyed the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. As always, I hope to see you again. Thank you.